Hello everyone, this is me Satya and I'm doing your uh, mid monthly for the month of November 2018. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So hello my Scorpions, how are you all? Um, hope you're doing good. Um, this reading is going to start from the 15th, which is today through the 30th of November. And um, this is definitely going to be a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there, so be mindful of that. And uh, if you are willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram to have the daily readings that I do there, um, which are uh, hardly one-minute readings. So if you don't want to miss out on the daily energies that I pick up and upload, uh, do follow me on Instagram. So um, the link is in the description box. And I will be doing what is my ex thinking of me reading for just two signs, which will get most views for the mid-monthlies. So if you want that you know uh to be your sign then you can you know share the video as much as you can so let's get into the reading i'll be taking three cards from the right away deck then i'll be taking um one card from the medical cards uh by lara Shaw. and if i will need to take a clarifier i will take it from the smith white tarot deck i will give it one more shuffle go done page of wands two of pentacles the lovers at the bottom of the deck you do have page of swords For um, I do I do pick up almost the same continuation of the you know energies coming from the first half of the month, leading into the second half of the month too. Uh, but uh, you are going to be getting confused. You you will be getting mixed signal from the person that you are dealing with. Um, it's it's more like um. you don't know whether to trust their words or you know go with what they are trying to show to you because it's it's like you know a mix of um two things and it's confusing you it's it's more like you know if if they are saying that they are willing to you know get a get into a committed relationship then they are you know giving you a mix uh uh, signal that they want to go for just physical with the you know page of wands card here so you are getting confused like you know what do they want and um but at the same time you are okay giving them both it's it's like you know you are um it's it's more like because you love them uh you do have love there is no question or doubt about it but you you don't know what they want uh, do they want, you know, just a relationship and no commitment or do they want a committed relationship? So that is, uh, you know, that is one thing you will be getting confused about during this, you know, second half of the month. Um, but I do see that, you know, you both know that you are on the same page. And it's it's more like you know you say something else and you do something else so they are basically you know now doing the same to you they are saying something else and doing exact the opposite so they are you know exchanging energies with you maybe for some of you and because you have always been like that and this time around they are also treating you the same way uh they won't be you know opening up about their feelings too uh directly they won't be getting direct about you know or getting uh, on point about their feelings towards you they they are it's not just that you are picking diff, uh, you know mixed energies from them they are giving you mixed energies and it's like you know they are giving you different vibes which is getting you know getting you confused and um but there is you know one assurity that is you both have love to share and but yes this time around um 
they are, you know, basically copying you, I would say. And, um, I don't know why I'm picking, picking up the energy that, you know, when they are doing the same to you, you don't like it. When they are not, you know, uh, giving you the same amount of, um, you know, they are basically treating you the way the, that you have been, you know, treating, treating them throughout. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if you message and they don't reply, you don't like it now. But you could do that to them for, you know, a million times and you were okay doing that to them. But this time around, when they do this, you are going to dislike it and you would be feeling like, you know, what, what are they trying to do? And, um, but having said that, you, you, it's, it's more like you both are on the same page now and you can feel each other very strongly. The tie, the connection, the bond between the two of you is very strong and deep. You could feel everything going on and it's just that this time around, they are also not going to be too vocal about it. And that is one thing which is kind of, you know, um, confusing you. But having said that, you can feel the soulmate connection between the two of you more strong than ever. It's, it's like, you know, you, they were always, you know, sure about it. You were the one who was not ready to accept it. The energies could be reversed too. For, for some of you, they were, you know, they knew it, but you, uh, for some of you, you know, you knew it, but they were not ready to accept it. And for some of you, you know, that it could be reversed. So it's, it's more like, you know, whoever was not ready to accept it this time around, they are, you know, seeing it happening. It's like, you know, they can see, uh, they can see and feel the pull towards you. And um, they know that it is not normal. It's something magical about it. And that magic is, you know, that magic only exists if it is a soulmate connection. You, because you, no matter how hard you try to walk away from this person, you both will be, you know, uh, getting back together. So um, that is sure that, you know, uh, you both know where things are going. Just that, you know, one is being, you know, manipulative here because they, they are trying. It's not that they want to manipulate things. It's just that they are trying to be... Um, they are, you know, if they are not, you know, treating you the way they used to treat you, they are doing that because you always used to have issues them treating you that way. So it's it's like, you know, around this time, they will be treating you in a different way, exact the way you treat them. And again, you are having issue with that. So that's who you are. It's like, you know, you, you would never, um, because you would never open up about your feelings to them. They don't know what to do and what to not. But, uh, but the change of, uh, you know, attitude is bothering you now. And, um, and like I said, since you know that you are, you know, their soulmate and they are your soulmate, you, um, you want this connection to be you know, uh, you want to make sure that you make this connection long lasting or, you know, forever or something like that, which is going to last forever because it's, it's more like, you know, because now you know that what it is and how it is going and how has it been throughout this time, the time since you both are together, be that on and off or whatever. But, uh, now because you both know, because they, one of the two already knew it, it's, you know, one of you is or has been, you know, uh, the one who was not, you know, sure about it. But since both are, you know, on the same page now, you both know that it is, you know, it is what it is. And you cannot run away from it. You cannot, you know, ignore it. It's, it is, it is so, so it is so. You cannot change it. And um, now they want a committed relationship with you. And... And I believe whoever was not ready for it is going to be wanting it more than the other person. It's like, you know, when they know that it is, um, you know, it is their, you know, soulmate, they, they would just want you to hold, uh, hold you tight and, you know, just make it sure that, you know, um, that you are taken. It's like, you know, they, they want you to put it on all the social medias that, you know, you are taken, you are engaged or whatever it is because they don't want to lose you. And they don't want uh, anything or anyone come in between the two of you because there is love, there is pull, there is passion, there is magic. And 
now the scorpion person or the person who has always been the one keeping his or her feelings to themselves only is going to be more expressive than the other person so at the bottom of the deck you do have the page of swords underneath that you do have the knight of cups underneath that you do have a nine of wands underneath that four of cups underneath that ten of swords i believe that is the that is it like you know the time that has uh that you have been you know running around each other and you know just going nowhere it's like you know staying in the same loop that has ended there you go you have you know manifested the one person uh the one of the two you the one of you two has manifested finally this relationship and that process is done it's you know completed and um the other person is now ready to accept this offer and the one who is accepting it and the one who is now offering it is the one who has always been you know having their guards up if it, it if it's you then you are going to be the one proposing if that has been them they are going to be the one proposing so there you go you will be receiving their cup of love you will be talking about the whole situation uh you will be telling them you know this is how you want it to be you might be you know planning your marriage you want you might be planning your um uh, your engagement and um i will still take clarifier for the two of pentacles and then for the lovers um but having said that i don't i don't see any third party situation here it's more of a confusion that is you know making you go back and forth what is it going on between uh or with not between but with them because uh you are confused with their action there you go seven of swords it's 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 more like you know you are thinking like you know they they have never been uh like this before and now when they have you know stolen your heart why are they trying to you know treat uh you this way seven of wands queen of pentacles it's it's more it's it's really you know it's it's really funny um you you are going to feel like you know uh, at first they were you know going crazy for you to make a decision now when you have you have made the decision now why they are trying to be you know um normal about it why they are not you know valuing you the same way that, that they used to because i do see that there is commitment going to happen for uh, for you and it's it's more like um uh you are going to put an end to the past between the two of you and starting a new because this person or you are magician like it's like you know either one of you uh, of you two is manifesting this relationship and it's like um this thing like you know to treat you uh, not the way they uh, not the way they used to treat you it it could be you know uh, a tool that they are using to manifest this relationship with you so it could be that uh, for some of you but um but yeah they they have managed to steal your heart for sure justice for the seven of swords so it, it is you know it it's more like you know there was no other way than you know um than you know treating you this way to make you open up about your feelings for them and that's exactly what they knew being a magician and that's exactly what they executed in their in their plan to bring forth what they desire so let's see what the lovers is all about page of wands again six of wands five of cups the high priestess there you go there they are at the bottom of the deck you do have the two of pentacles underneath that let's see seven of cups they are you know they are definitely making you confused um you are you know um thinking what's going on uh, do they want me do they do they uh you know what is it going on with them that's exactly what you are thinking uh with the page of wands and six of wands i do believe the person that you are dealing with um 
they are riding the wave of success in their life definitely and um, they have been hurt in the past and they are now riding the wave of success for the hard work they, that they have been doing in the you know in whatever they are doing and it could be that um it could be that you know they they might have been you know trying all their life to not all their life but yeah you know for quite some time they might have been you know trying to reach uh to reach the you know to reach the core of your heart where you could you know you could uh you could love them back the way they used to and they have been hurt in the past and um but they have kind of you know um uh, uh come out of that hurt and they have used their intuition they have used their gut feeling they have used their um magic not magic in a you know in a sense of magic but yeah their their intuition their strong connection to the source they have used that to bring forth what they wanted and um they 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 are you know uh, successfully you know ruling your heart go i asked the question what the six of wands is all about they are they have won your heart and you are going to be in a committed relationship with them and um <sighs> when you propose this person or when they propose you you are going to shed a tear of joy because it's something with with the five of cups here it's something that you both maybe maybe you both will you know shed a tear because this is something you both wanted so dearly and maybe you were scared to you know commit or maybe they were scared to commit but the you know the the fear of commitments this you know the thing that used to push you away from you know commitments marriages and stuff like that when you met when you will meet this person or when you will propose this person this person uh will change your beliefs regarding this you know institution of marriage and that you know that that sense that you will get to be uh you know being with them the relief the you know calmness in your soul i would say because it's a soulmate connection there is going to be that feeling uh, attached to it very overwhelming feeling which will um it's it's more like you know the moment you will hug this person the moment they will propose you 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 will you know your life will change completely because you will you know give all your heart out to this person and it, this person going to give you the same and this relationship is definitely going to be very 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 magical or uh, very stable and yeah wow i'm i'm really happy for scorpions So, um, wait a second. So basically, whatever hurt that you have been through, both of you, um, during this, you know, manifestation process, or even before that, when you have been, you know, on and off with each other, whatever hurt that has brought to you, it was meant to happen because otherwise you would not have, you know, if if you had married this person maybe uh, you know one year ago or maybe two year ago you would not be the person that you are right now so you know embrace the change in this person embrace the situation as it is because if if you if you were given you know this person earlier this person would not be how he or she is right now so you should value it whatever you know has happened whatever you know whatever the breakups and you know patch ups have been uh, between the two of you it has helped you both grow as a person and i believe you both have go gone through a lot of you know personal or you know um inner growth and this time around when you will you know that's i i i feel like you know very soul kind of you know connection a soul connection here with this person and definitely this is going to be uh magical you know magical magical relationship coming your way 
um in, in fact i believe it's already there it's just that you know a matter of more, maybe a few a uh, few more days within this month things will be sorted out and you will be you know giving each other the commitment and um you will be getting married to this person very soon definitely so uh yeah that's pretty much it from the right away deck let's see what's coming up from the miracle cards uh by lara shah for additional guidance on your uh this particular uh remaining month of november there you go it's time for changes and new beginnings there you go new beginning and changes in you know the whole situation you need to be more adaptable and tolerant uh the elemental quality of this card is water definitely it is can you see the picture here so your life will see a period of constant change. Creative ideas and thoughts will flow as divine energies fill your entire soul, illuminating the desire to reach newer and greater heights. This card reveals a future or career in art, acting, writing, mass communication, or public speaking. Your expertise in these areas will be enhanced. Socialize and meet like-minded people, but stay grounded and listen to what your inner voice tells you to do. This card also predicts instability and warns against fickle mindedness and indecisiveness energize the southwest area of your home or house uh, for three weeks with an uh, amethyst crystal ball or pebbles if you are into all those things so it's time for changes and new beginnings again so i do believe uh the you know the confusion that is coming here with the two of pentacles and that also came in the uh, clarifiers too no actually it was i think at the bottom of the deck yeah so whatever it is um whatever the confusion is um it, it will be sorted out i believe and but yeah for uh, for for those of you if you are a cross watcher and you are manifesting this relationship don't give too mixed you know don't give too mixed up um signals to this person that they, they they get confused like you know what do you want so let it be uh, to the limit where they can digest it it's like you know that kind of energy i'm picking up with this card even though i don't feel anything negative coming with this reading but as uh, you know this card warns you uh so um it's it's for for both of you you know if if you are you know if you are scorpion watching this and you are the one who is you know getting confused with their attitude be mindful of that that this person is, you know, uh, just trying to do what you used to, you know, complain about, you know, to them in their attitude or whatever it was. And they they, they are not, you know, trying to um, change or they, they are not doing things to, uh, so you value them more. They are doing things because you always told them that this is something I don't like, so don't do it again. So that's why they have stopped doing those things. And now you are missing those things in them. So uh, talk about it because it's, it's, it's more like, you know, because I believe this is meant to happen. The connection, the commitment is meant to happen during this month. Um, so, uh, so whatever it is, deal with it and talk about things. And uh, like you have finally opened up about your feelings to them, just, you know, open up more. And I do believe you are going, you know, the time you are going to propose to this person is going to be the most magical time of both of your lives. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for Scorpions for the remaining month of uh, November. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. And if you are willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you people, take care. Bye-bye.